Hello America, welcome back to Greg's Us Live. I think it's about time Outcast came up with the remix for their Bombs Over Baghdad, uh, as it's not Baghdad this time around, it's Tripoli. Welcome to the weekend edition of Greg's List Live. It has been a very busy weekend. Um, a lot of people are watching college basketball, but likely not if you're in Libya, as the United States has launched 112 cruise missiles against uh, the Qaddafi regime and to take out the Libyan air defense targets. Um, as you know, the, uh, Libya is embroiled in a civil war right now, and the rebels in Libya have been begging and clamoring for uh, a no-fly zone to be established. And, of course, the United States is following the French lead. France was the first country to recognize the Libyan rebels as a legitimate entity, entity and they actually led the effort to establish the no-fly zone in Libya. French warplanes have actually been taking out Libyan tanks all weekend long. They've been carpet bombing them with champagne. Uh, an admiral with the Pentagon yesterday was on. The new um, operation to set up this no-fly zone, it's called Odyssey Dawn, which sounds like a new brand of dish soap. I'm wondering who's coming up with the names for these. Private Bradley Manning or maybe Deepak Chopra. What's up with these new age, millennium sounding names, you know? Uh, Odyssey Dawn. That sounds like Procter & Gamble manufactured that. You know, like many Americans, I am amazed at the temerity of the French in this matter. Seems like Napoleon has been reincarnated. And of course, our illustrious President Obama, with umbrella drink in hand, addressed the nation on Saturday from Rio de Janeiro, stating his unquivering resolve to protect the Libyan people. He also said, I'm 29-3 and three in my NCAA brackets, biatch. Apparently, Bill Ayers filled them out for the Prez. That's the only rational, rational explanation I can think of for his stunning accuracy. And uh, we, we do have word in from Sweden. Word is that the Swedes are going to be revoking that Nobel Peace Prize that uh, he was um, awarded a couple years ago. Uh, Alfred Nobel called and said, hey, we need to get that Peace Prize back from you. Uh, they, they do uh, have a special place for it, though. It's going to be right next to the, in the hall of the revocation hall of fame, next to Reggie Bush and O.J. Simpson's Heisman trophies. Don't worry, they already have a place warmed up for Cam Newton's trophy. Give it three years. Everybody's favorite anti-Semite is back in the news again as well. You remember Helen Thomas, right? Last year she was fired from her job as a uh, as a reporter for making uh, anti-Semitic or anti-Jewish comments. And this month, apparently, she's in Playboy. And I uh, thank God it's not a pictorial. I went, to, so I bought the Braille version just in case it was a pictorial, but it's not. And in this one, she's com uh, quoted commenting that she doesn't take back any of her anti-Jewish remarks and now says that Jews are running or own the White House, which I find hard to believe because the, uh, the top Jew just left the White House, Rahm Emanuel, to go destroy the city of Chicago as mayor. So... Uh, apparently she was able to get off her job at, um, a little bit early and they say normally you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover but in this case I think it's more than appropriate because that is one ugly cover folks and uh, we got a little bit of sad news folks the, um, the I, I'm not sure how to pronounce this I, I took German in high school but I guess it would be Knut the polar bear is dead. Uh, the polar bear has uh, been at the, the zoo in Berlin for the past uh, four years. And yesterday, it was a beautiful spring day in Berlin. There were supposedly 600 visitors outside watching, and the poor guy just keeled over. Apparently, he's another victim of global warming, or perhaps too much soda in his diet. Because uh, all those sodas that they're drinking up in the North Pole, all those Cokes that they drink, you know that's going to come back to haunt them eventually. Uh, to, we've also got some news in the business world today, folks. AT&T announced that they're going to be buying out uh, T-Mobile for $39 billion. And uh, AT&T bought Bell South a couple years ago. It, it, we spent so much time in 1984 breaking this damn company up, and now they're coming back. So they, we'll have to see if they can pass through the uh, antitrust regulation. There'll be more on this story tomorrow. This thing was announced during the... Uh, 
during the weekend. So there's, it, you know, it's been approved by both of their company's boards, but I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more about this in the future. I wanted to uh, let everybody know that we'll be back at our normal, regularly scheduled time with the Greg Greg American panel. This was a special weekend edition. And uh, remember, I'm looking out for me, but Sven starts here. We'll see you tomorrow on Greg Chris.